How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif, I'm your host Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I worked on something at lunchtime. I couldn't really take you along with me because I worked on it at lunchtime. So, building an aerator for the pond out of this. So obviously this is a pump, right? And what you do is, if you look in here, if you look in here, I, oh, careful. Hold on, okay. If you look in here, you'll see inside I notched this piece and made it so the water can flow through it and by it. When it goes, when the pump pushes the water through this and this is sticking out of the top of the water, it creates a vacuum which sucks air in which blows bubbles. Do you think it works? I don't know. Want to try it with me? I'm pretty sure you do. So. Let's go in the backyard and we'll get our stuff out and we'll get this done. But in the meantime, I spent about an hour and a half making some cotton candy to give to somebody. I left it in the garage of my truck where it's nice and hot. Of course, as you can see, cotton candy is no good no more. Back to sugar it goes. Frig! What a waste of time that was. Here I thought I was doing good by uh, putting the coffee on there and I'm not. Putting the coffee in there. Here he thought I was doing good by making the cotton candy for people. Guess what? What a waste. Freak. How come that doesn't surprise me though? I like to waste time sometimes. As you can see, I'm doing this. Oh, mom's tomatoes are just hammering out. Do you want to see some good tomatoes? The real sweet kind. The kind that are, you can just pop. Right here, look at this plant. It's got so many friggin' tomatis coming out. It's not even funny. Look at them all. Like it's just gasping with them. Hey, little gasper. And then a little gasper. Hey, look at that one. Oh, look down here. Oh, yeah. Look at them all. Captain. Rig. Booyah. I'm going to open up my secret package. Move that out of the way. And there's an extra plug right there. I'm gonna check this, make sure no frogs got in here. Nope, she looks like it's doing pretty good. There's my UV filter and stuff, if anybody's wondering. Valves, whatnot, this and that, the other friggin' thing. Okay, so for now, I'm just gonna set you here, bring you down a little. We'll grab the pump. All right, is it gonna work is a question. Let's find out. Ah, oh, yeah, it sounds good. Sounds like a pump that's dying. It will work just fine. Okay, ready? Please work. No vacuum yet, Captain. I'll let you blow on it. Oh yeah. So I wonder if I got it in too far. It is working somewhat. Okay, wonder why that's not working. Maybe I have it in too far. <gasps> Maybe this pipe's too long. <gasps> that's what it is. How high do I need it? Not very high. Let's cut right here. I gotta cut right here. I'll be right back. Oh, don't go through the hole, Jim. You still waiting for me? Good. All right. So, I cut the shaft down on this thing. So let's see what happens now. That's not working. Okay, that did not work. So that means we gotta go down further. Let's try that. Nope, further. I'm probably thinking too far. 100%. Oh my God. Boys, this ain't working. I think it's a hoax. Hold on, I gotta go pull it out. It's too far in. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Another adjustment. Here we go. Oh, something's happening. Can you see it? Something is happening. So what do we gotta do now? To make more air. To make more air we need. There we go, try that. Here we go again. 
Oh, there we go. Now she's making bubs. What a piss poor pump that is. That thing was a bigger pump. It made so many bubbles. I need a bigger pump, Captain. I wonder if that pump has more pressure. Right there. We should try that. Let's try that. Here, I'm gonna move you here. Hopefully. I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna try that line just for shits and giggles. If I use that, I wouldn't need to use another pump. Here I come. Old man's blanket. That means I have to pull out my fish, so. Oh, well, hey, whatever works, pull the fish out. There we go. And we'll try this. Oh, I guess we need to get in the water, though, don't we? That's going to be tough. My hose ain't very long. Hold on, we'll get her. Ready? Still can't get her. Hold on. we got to have more hose than this here. Oh, yeah. I have to move you over. Here we are, ripping the damn pond apart again. That's better. You can't see nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. The pump works better. I pulled this apart for nothing. What's really going on? Come on. As Arnold would say, come on. Get out the hole. I right tore this apart for nothing. Good enough for now. Let's get back over there. Frig fish, I feel like going for a swim with you guys. Do I have a leak somewhere or something? The pond's gone way down today. That's not cool. Frog's talking. Where are you? <gasps> I think he's under where I am. Okay, that pump's not leaking. Look at the size of that. Dragonfly, boys, girls, peoples. That's freaking awesome. Can you see him? Probably, the camera's not even on him. There he is, look at him. That's killer. Hey, Taking a drink from the butt. How would you like to suck up water up the ass? That'd be decent. Oh, we got another one. It's a little guy though. See him? Oh, frog's talking. Oh, he's under here. What are you doing in there? Crazy frog. It's underneath my deck. What were we doing? Oh yeah, we were working on this thing. It's kind of a hard spot to record. It really is. Because the quarters are really close. Where am I gonna get you? Frag. How about over here? The fish think I'm feeding them. They're just losing it. There we go. You stay there. Okay, so the frog is under here. Cut this off of the brick, which was off camera because I didn't hit record. We're gonna put it on the lid. We're gonna drop it in the hole. Just like that. We're gonna just throw this cord around here for a minute and plug it in and pump some air out. Which isn't much. What the hell are you gonna do? If I squeeze this off, what happens? Nothing. Just not a good pump, period. Frig! Yeah, that's crappy. Very crappy. Like it's got no pressure. What a crappy pump. I wanna try that so bad on a friggin' serious pump. Like, get one that just cranks it out. Can you imagine how awesome it would be? The fish better stay away from this friggin' thing though, because it shocks you. Kind of sucks. I really wanted to put some power to it. Oh my god. Smaller. can't if I turn it it's just the pump there's not enough juice in the there's not enough juice this pumps a wreck <laughs> it doesn't even want to keep going all right well I guess I should clean off a friggin fountain next oh yeah I gotta run this wire 
You know what? While I was sitting here doing that, I thought to myself, I might grab the big pump out of the front pump because I'm not using it, and we'll see if that one pumps better. That might not be a bad idea, but then guess what? My fitting probably won't be right. Anyways, there we go. That's as good as I'm going to get it. Oh, there's that frog we were talking about that we heard. Right there. Okay, siding. Coming out from under the dock, he is. But that's as much air as we got there for now. I'm going to uh, get the other pump from up front. Oh, we got people listening, looking at the house next door. It better be nice, eh? Better be nice and quiet. Don't make any noises. Ah, oh, look at the little guy. Got a little guy in the friggin' front pond we do, sitting right there. He needs to go to the back, he does. I know there's another one in here somewhere too. I don't know where he is. Hold on. Can you see him? He's just a real little dude. No, I can't see him. Frig. But anyways, what we gotta do now is I wanna take the pump that's in here out because we got an aerator in here, which is working fine. All right, where were we? Any hoot, we gotta get in here and get the pond pump out of here. This might be a little bit of a chore because I can't even remember how big this pump was to be honest with you. Oh, it's much bigger, much bigger than the other one. Let's steal this pump, have some fun with it. Take this hose off, maybe, hopefully. Oh man. That's in there, Jim. How do I get that on there? Must have heated it. Here it comes. There we go. So we'll leave the hose in. The, <laughs> we gotta dig up this wire and everything. Oh man, here we go. Let's just pull on it. Oh my God, I got two tied together. Oh, come on, baby. There it is. Okay. It's one way of getting her done. So if you're wondering why I don't have anything in this pond for pump wise, it's because I put tadpoles and stuff in here and baby fish. So if you run a pump with baby fish, it will just suck them up and kill them. So that's why it'll have a pump in here, but it's, it's hard to show you because it's full of stuff, but it, it's crystal clear. It really is. It's working really good. So we got this pump out. So let's go back in the backyard and see if we can't. See if we can't get it running. I got the other pump back here. I took the fitting off of this one and we started at ground zero again to see what happens. I pulled the shaft up a little bit and made this a little wire because I don't have the right fitting for it. But we'll see what we can do here. Well, that's definitely working better. Oh my God, the fish love it already. Oh, for frig's sakes. Sorry, fishies, you can't have that. I need it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, now it won't come out. Make your own fitting. Black electrical tape. Okay, that one's definitely making more bubbles. So I'm gonna leave that one in for now. I'm just curious to turn it. I'm just playing here. Okay. That's cool the way that works. Wow, that works a lot better. <laughs> what the heck is really going on here? This gimmick doesn't really work. I just stuck a regular piece of pipe in there and it worked fine, look at it. Works better than without, without this on. So the guy that I watched that on YouTube, you're a dick, dude. You've been watching too much YouTube just like me. I'm gonna take this to Home Depot tomorrow and get the proper fitting for it, maybe upsize it so it's bigger. I don't really wanna run this all the time though. What I would like to do is have a battery backup for that pump. So if the hydro goes out, that pump comes on. Because the worst thing you want is to have your fish lose their oxygen. That's bad. And when it's hot out, it's nice to give the fish a little extra oxygen. So that's why I did this. This is gonna catch every damn thing in the pond. It's like a skimmer, which I guess is a pretty good, good idea, really. Okay, now that's making bubbles. Pretty good ones too. Wonder why the zoom ain't working. So right down here, we gotta get that crap off the waterfall. Whenever you have a pond, you're always gonna have maintenance. It's actually fun maintenance, so I didn't really need the aerator, but the fish like it, you know? 
What are you gonna do when the fish like it? They like it. So first thing I need to do is get that big long hair off there. Oh yeah, look at the size of that piece. Holy, good for the plants. You can leave some of it on. You just want to get off the majority of it right where the water comes out. Because it can actually make the water backflow. And we don't want that. Okay, there we go. And that will help it flow a little better. Stop it from going in behind the rock. Does that look pretty good? Look at the fish, they're right below me. They want to get some foods into them. I lost a bunch of functions on this thing. And I'm not sure how I did it. Oh well, whatever. I don't know if the fish will come over here now. Fishy fishies. Okay, I don't like that thing there. I lost my feeding. Now they're eating way over there. All right, well, I still have a lot to figure out with this thing that mounts my camera on there. I'm having a little problem with it right now. It's, be it's got a little bit of an attitude right at this moment. So we'll figure that out. As you notice on the video, I was screwing with it a little bit more than I normally do, so. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. This is a little job I just had to get done in the pond. And now I'm just gonna sit here and relax and have a bite to eat probably. So thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one.